Hello guys, once again, welcome to the channel, Raul Automation Studio. So hey guys, in this video, I'm going to cover one interview question and that is very common question. So what is the difference between driver.close method and driver.quit method? So I will be explaining in the detail and with an example and I will show you practically. Uh, so what is the exact difference between driver.close and driver.quit method? So we will be writing driver dot clause and one more method is driver dot quit method. So what is the basic difference between these two methods and which method we should use while automating our test cases. So guys, so we are having one test case with us like we are opening a Chrome browser and in the Chrome browser, after that, we are doing the maximizing of a browser window. And in that window, we are opening one URL that is automation practice short from URL. So first of all, let's see, we will be working on driver dot close method. Okay, guys, so I will be adding one static width. So we will be able to see the execution because the execution will be very fast. Let's see what driver dot close will do okay guys so just run this so it is opening a website to automation techpage.com and once the website will get fully loaded in the web page in the browser after that it will close it so driver dot close is closing the browser for you guys right so now what will be doing we are closing this windows as well because we don't have any browser window just open this window not an issue so you can just open anything so this is our separate window guys this window is not getting updated by our selenium okay guys so this was about the one window now we will be opening multiple windows guys so how you can open multiple windows in the same test case so in the selenium 4 there is a new feature so by that feature you can create and you can open a new window so how you can do that so for that guys you have to do driver dot switch to dot new window Okay, guys. So this is the new method, a new implementation which has given in the Selenium 4. So, guys, always I recommend to use the latest version so that you can always use the latest features of that particular jar file. So, in this new window, what we have to pass, we have to pass window type dot window. So, window type we are passing it as a window. Okay, guys. So as it is a type of window, you have you can directly store it in a driver variable. Okay, guys. So now this is a one window. This will open one window, and then in this window we are loading this URL. Again, what we are doing? We are creating a new window, and uh, it is switching to that particular new window. So driver focus is on our new window right now. Again, we will be opening same url in that okay guys we can open any other url as also whatever operation we want to perform not an issue we can navigate to any external url as well in that window so let's try to go with the same website as for now so we are having two windows right now this is one window and this is another window right guys so we are using one method that is driver.close so now let's try to run and accordingly driver.close you should close the browser but let's see which browser it will close because there are two window right now so will it close both or will it close only one and which one it will close so this is the one window that is getting open with the one new chrome browser class and this is another window that is getting opened by the new window method of the Selenium 4 features. Now you can see guys, one window has been closed, right guys? There is only one window now. 
not the another window and so driver dot close what driver dot close will do driver dot close will close the browser window which is in the currently focus so it has closed the window for this particular window this particular window has been closed for you guys okay guys you can navigate to any other website as well not an issue so what driver dot close will do it will close the current active browser okay guys or you can say it will close the current active web driver instance because our current web driver instance was in the second window so it will close to that so this is the difference now let's see what driver dot quit will do now instead of using driver dot close we will be using driver dot quit method okay guys so just close this window okay guys now let's try to run it we are closing driver dot quit and one more thing guys always remember it will not close another google or another browser that has been not opened by the selenium command so it will only close the browser which has been opened by the selenium commands which is getting controlled by automated test software only those will get closed so as we are doing it for driver dot quit so one has it is launched the chrome browser it is opening this url once it will done it will again open a new chrome browser window for you so this is done and this is another window that is getting opened by our new window method see guys so driver dot quit has closed both the browser window but in the driver dot close method it was just only closing one browser that it was getting currently focused but driver dot quit will close all the active web browser instances or a chrome browser instances okay guys so what uh, driver dot quit will do it will close all the active browsers okay guys and in the similar way it will close all the active not the current one but the recent one also it will close all the active web driver instances so this is the main difference guys between driver dot close and driver dot quit method so which one we should use driver dot quit or driver dot close so definitely we have to use driver dot close quit method why because driver dot quit method will quit all the web driver instances and while there are multiple test cases you are running in the parallel execution or in a sequence execution you will not face any driver issue in that or driver session issues you will not face in that so that's why guys driver dot quit will first quit all the browsers and then it will be opening a new url for the new test case so that's why you should always use driver dot quit method so that's it guys so thank you please like share and subscribe to my channel Thanks to everyone. Bye bye.